Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a reading all about what's going to happen to you uh, seven to ten days from now. So we have the three cards here, so please choose your group. We have group number one with the Celestite, group number two with the Herkimer Diamond, and group number three with the Hiddenite. So please choose your group now and let's get started. Also, apologies for not having a weekly reading out this week. I wanted to do a seven to 10 days reading, but I will be doing more weekly readings when I can manage to get my kind of space sorted out. It's kind of, everything's being moved around at the moment. So I apologize for any kind of inconsistent video uploads and things like that. So, so let's get started. So starting off with group number one, what's happening seven to 10 days from now with the Celestite. Hello group number one, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys got two crystals. The first one we got is the Celestite. So this is a really beautiful crystal. When it's time to stop and really listen, with Celestite as, as a guide, you may be surprised what you hear. Anyone brazenly ignoring the consistent inner voice that actually has some good ideas for how you might better handle this whole life thing. Interesting, okay. So that is the main message with the Celestite. And then the next one we have out is the Selenite. When you move into a new space and want any lingering bad juju to vamoose, when you pray to gods above, when you've been working with crystals and want to clear away energy they've picked up in the process, give them a gentle tap with Selenite. Clear your space to enlightenment. So this crystal is really, really good for spiritual healers and intuitives. This is really, really good for people who are really suffering with any kind of blockage with their spiritual, with their spirituality, with any kind of issues. So with this Selenite, I feel like for you guys, this is really about your spiritual journey. The next seven to 10 days is you're really gonna figure out a way to really enhance your spiritual journey, a way to really become much more comfortable with where you're at on your spiritual journey. And with the Celestite, it kind of reminds me of a blue sky. It reminds me of things coming clear and you're able to really acknowledge what you're going through and you're able to acknowledge things that have possibly been really weighing you down. So with the Celestite, I feel like this is also about your throat chakra. So for you guys in the next seven to 10 days, I see your throat chakra really kind of opening up. And I also feel like for you guys, you might actually be learning a different language or translating a language in terms of maybe doing some healing work in terms of kind of like trans transmuting a language through yourself. So maybe doing some sort of spiritual kind of work to do with channeling or something like that. I feel like that's that's pretty important for you guys. I feel like that's what's really coming through. So let's have a look at the next cards that we have along. So we're gonna plot those there. Okay, so the next Oracle cards we have along is the take note. Your answers might be, your answers are might be given. <laughs> your answers are being given to you. Quietening external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. I love that, that is so cute. This is so cute, I love this. So I feel like the number 22, that's gonna be really significant for you guys in the next seven to 10 days. I feel like the, the journey here, it feels like your energy is being really, really shifted. And I feel like for you, it's almost about this duality of the masculine and the feminine. And when it says your answers are being given to you, you are on the right track, okay? You are on the right track. You are getting where you want to go. It's just giving yourself the permission to kind of just accept that the universe is doing what's best for you and you can get there and you will get there and it's going to be okay. Everything is going to be sorted for you and everything is going to be okay, I feel. And I feel like for you also, it's just really acknowledging that you might not know where you're going, but I feel like meditation is going to really, really help with this sort of situation. I really feel it's going to kind of shift the energies for you. Okay. And also number 22 is about balance. So you are coming into balance. Next card out we have is the fish. So the fish here is all about intuition. You guys are fully in your intuitive energy. This, these, these like next few days that you're watching this uh, video, I feel like you guys are really in your intuition and it's, this is definitely about kind of swimming freely and I'm getting like a really strong buzzing in my right hand. So I feel like for you guys, it could be about energy work. You might even receive energy healing from somebody this in the next week or so. I feel like it could be to do with Reiki or just some sort of energy healing that really, really suits you. And the fish here is also showing me that you're gonna be quite deep into your emotions in the next seven to 10 days. It feels quite emotional. It feels like quite an emotional journey, but it feels like a strong journey. It feels like you can really benefit from this and 
the fact that we have your answers being given to you, the selenite's all about channeling. It's all about intuition. I mean, I have selenite here. I use it when I'm channeling, when I'm doing intuitive work like I am now. So I feel like for you guys, it's just really important to acknowledge that these things are coming to you and it's just being really aware that things will change for you. And you will have the things that you want. It's just, you have to quiet down the noise after that as well. So this is also just about you acknowledging your inner power and know that you can get the messages that you want. It's just trusting those messages because we can't have messages if we don't trust them. And also the fish is showing me that you guys are really gonna kind of change up how you're approaching life. I feel like you'll learn to not swim against the current. You're gonna learn to just kind of be really embracing what's coming towards you. So from the astrology deck, we have Wayne, oops, we have Wayne and Gibbous. We have Mars. We also have Taurus. Oops, that's not in the reverse. We have Taurus. Oh, and we have partners. I did not see that coming. Hi. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's, that's amazing. So let me just have a little look into my book and we're going to see what the waxing gibbous is representing here. So the waxing gibbous says, refine and hone, observe and align your hopes with the universe, build momentum. So this is all about you guys actually making some sort of strong moves. So you could have a Taurus around you. You might be attracting in a, tour, a, in a Taurus. I feel like this is also a really strong energy of literally just accepting yourself. That's kind of what I'm getting. It feels like you're just accepting yourself and how you see yourself is just really damn important. Like it is so, so, so important for you to really see yourself in a beautiful way and know that when you accept your intuition and know that it's trying to help you, that's a really good sign that you guys are on the right path because you're really acknowledging who you are. Your intuition is who you are. So if you can't trust it, you can't trust yourself, you know, and, and vice versa. So the Mars card, card is also showing me that you guys are mainly going to be working on your masculine energy. You're going to be working on asserting yourself in a certain situation. And also with this Mars card, it's showing me that you guys are learning to really push forward and make action into this kind of uh situation whatever's kind of going on for you and i feel like you're reaping the rewards you are really really re reaping the rewards i feel like for you you're really building momentum in your life you're really building up that energy and things are happening for you things are changing and the taurus card is showing me that you could most likely be in a very strong committed relationship very very soon so obviously this video video is timeless so just take it as it resonates and just kind of see how you feel in the time frame of this video but I definitely feel like as somebody who wants to be around you or you could be in a relationship currently with a Taurus and it's very positive it feels like all the time we're acknowledging who you are the more you're going to be able to manifest this person because it feels very very strong okay let's get you some tarot so let's put these cards away and let's get you some tarot my lovelies let's get some tarot and see what's going on for you guys Okay, group number one, we have the Nine of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, that's that Taurus energy. Right, you guys are really struggling with your money as well. You're really struggling with getting balance and honing in on any sort of stability. And it is coming. The stability is definitely coming. It's definitely coming your way. Okay, I really want this card that's popping out. Ooh, yes, there is definitely some new energy around you guys. You guys need to have more faith in your journey. And I know it's hard because sometimes it does feel like you're left out or you're kind of the last one on the boat. But honestly, every, everything happens in the divine timing for you, not for other people, for you. It's literally, this is for you. You know, this is your path. So don't judge it based on anybody else's situation. Base it on your path and your journey and how you see your own life, okay? So we have the Three of Cups. So that is the first uh, card that is underneath the deck. So the fact that this is underneath the deck is showing me that you guys are gonna have a massive shift within your tribe and also the way you have community in your life. So community is gonna be a really big thing for you guys and it's really gonna change for you. So with this Nine of Swords, it's showing me you guys are in a quite a high anxiety point and also you want things to change, you want things to move. Things are moving, okay? Things are going to change. Let me just clarify this Nine of Swords for you guys. Oh, we had that Death card. Did you see that, guys? It's popped out. Let's see. All right, the Death card really wants to pop out, so we're going to put him there. Let's get another one. Okay, I feel like you guys are feeling very insecure. I feel like one of these ghosts is almost like laughing at the person, so... 
or spirit, I don't know what you'd call that, but I feel like for you guys, it's being really generous to yourself and really allowing yourself to have generosity and 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 allow yourself to feel these feelings and know that they are genuine and they are there for a reason. So with this energy here, I feel that you guys are ending an old cycle. In the next seven to 10 days, you're definitely ending an old cycle and you're coming into much more abundance than what you have done. The Knight of Pentacles is showing me that when you guys start to gain more money, when you start to gain more recognition, and you also start to become more of who you are and able to be who you are and just genuinely just accept yourself, that is when this person starts to come in. This person is also part of a new path and you're also going to come out of that lack mentality and also lack within the external life for you as well. The moon is also showing me contentment. It's showing me that emotions are going to start coming up, but that's okay. Just know that you are sacred you you deserve these things and with the moon it's also showing me that you guys can feel a little bit insecure about this new thing coming you might be like Vicky I don't believe it I don't believe this is something good it is something good trust it and that it's okay all right so that's the reading for you guys I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here and if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below along with my crystal shop thank you so much for being here I love you guys and I'll speak to you soon bye Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading and let's see what two crystals you have out and let's see what we have in the next seven to 10 days. So the first card we have is Herkima Diamond. I think this might be Bloodstone. Oh yes, it is Bloodstone. Okay, beautiful. So Herkima Diamond is a very, very clear crystal. It has kind of like a very high spiritual energy to it and it kind of creates clarity and Bloodstone is all about detoxifying. So for you guys, I feel like you're going to get massive amount of clarification within your love life and also within your relationships. And if you are completely single, you have nobody around, this is to do with just any sort of relationship you have in your life. So it doesn't actually have to be like a romantic relationship. It can be literally any sort of relationship that you feel is important or it just, it feels like any sort of connection you have, you're learning to really just detoxify that. So let's see what this says. Oops, and it's upside down. Okay. <laughs> So it says, who needs it? Reiki masters, travelers on a spiritual path, highly sensitive people. When to use it? When you're reaching for clearer than ever through spirituality, therapy, or healing work, brush off all those unwanted vibes of Herkimer Diamond, power wash your energy. Wow, so that's a massive energy of kind of just cleansing. And then we also have Bloodstone, power up your vitals. When you're totally bled dry and it's time to get into your body and start feeling your damn self. Sleep, get some exercise, take nourishment, and call on Bloodstone to drag your ass out of the house to face the day, chin up, head high. Who needs it? The constantly overworked and completely drained by the soul-sucking machinations of modern life, Capricorns. Um, so where to put it? Wherever you do the important work, spiritual, physical, and psychological. Okay. So I feel like for you guys, it's really important to take a break. And in the next seven to 10 days, I see you guys taking a break. I see you guys acknowledging your energy. And for you guys, it's really important to just really just cleanse your energy. And we have power wash your energy and power up your vitals. So it's definitely like a really strong energy of power. This also kind of reminds me of just these detoxifying in general. Like you guys are really becoming clear about what your needs are, what you accept out of relationships, what you feel like is important to you, what really helps you to feel whole, what makes you feel good, you know, all that jazz. So I feel like that's really, really important for you right now. And I absolutely love that. So that is beautiful. So those are the first two crystals coming out. Also, I highly, highly recommend these. And I do crystal recommendation jewelry on my website. So if you're ever interested, um, link is down below. Okay. So next card we have out is the Mutually Beneficial Venture, number 31. So this says, there is an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this moment. Utilize this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. So this is Clownfish, and this reminds me of Finding Nemo, where the main character, who's a fish, <laughs> um, is basically kind of saying the connection between their home and themselves. And they basically say how the anemone is, I think it's an enemy. I don't know how to say it, but basically the home that they live in is kind of like they have a very strong relationship with it because they benefit from hiding in there and also the plant benefits from them, them being in there and, and the clownfish benefits from that. So it's kind of like, as I say, it says here, mutually beneficial energy. So it's kind of like the energy of we're both getting something out of this. So it feels very, very natural. I'm going to pull the rest of the cards and we're going to see what else we have because I'm really interested in what this is. Okay, so we have the lion. Is this in the reverse? No, this is the upright. Okay, so we have the dragon. 
and we also have Pluto and the Sun. Okay, so definitely a masculine energy around this. It doesn't mean that it's going to be somebody you're going to be attracted to, but it could mean that you are also just really firing up right now. You're trying to figure out, okay, where's the best uh, way to go about this? And it's also about you transforming your your life and who you are. You're transforming your entire personality and what it is that you want out of life. So this is why I feel like we have mutual beneficial venture. For some of you guys, it could be a actual like romantic partnership. For some of you, it could be a, I'm hearing something to do with fashion, a fashion partnership. I don't know what that means. Maybe some of you guys are in fashion. I feel like for some of you guys, it could be like a work partnership, something to do with work, something that really benefits you in your uh, your life in, in terms of work and career and things like that. It feels like, especially with the lion, this is going to be something that you're going to be really, really proud of. You're going to manifest a connection that really helps you get started on something. But also, this is somebody who isn't going to be, I'm hearing, not blinded by who you are. So you may have had relationships in the past on any sort of level that really didn't appreciate your value. Um, because especially we have the moth over this guy's eyes. So I feel like it's kind of like people were blinded by their own energy and they're very narcissistic. This relationship that you're manifesting, whoever it may be, whether it's romantic, a friendship, a new family member, maybe a little baby, um, it feels like a very strong energy of this is, we're, we're both getting something out of it, okay? So the line here is also showing me you guys are getting back control and the dragon is showing me that it's something very, very deep, a very deep relationship. It's not just a surface. Even if it's helping you with work, it feels like something that's not going to be just on the surface. And you guys are really seeing things for what they are in your romantic relationships, especially you're really starting to figure out, okay, well, who is serving me? Who is actually benefiting my life? And what is the best thing for me to do to get out? of what I need to get out of this you know like and you're not you're not you're putting out your boundaries you know you're not saying yes to every single relationship that comes in you're being like no I'm going to choose this and if you're not going to come up to the plate then I'm not going to accept you you know it's definitely about the self you're really realizing who you are and what you can give to a relationship in in various different ways and really what suits you in general okay so let's get you some tarot let's move these cards away and let's get you some tarot. Yes, you guys are manifesting a fire sign. If you're wanting a fire sign in your life, this person I'm hearing is going to be so good for professional work. So if you guys are wanting like a partner who's also just wow, <laughs> wow, we've got the sun twice in two different decks. So this person is really good for your career. This person is very career orientated. This is why they're basically saying to take a break from work because they want you to re kind of jig your entire workspace. They want you to figure out, okay, is there anybody who I can work with that's really going to suit my energy? It's a bit wonky there. Okay, there we go. Someone who's going to suit my energy. Wow. I was not expecting the lovers to come out. That is amazing. Okay, got the Queen of Swords and another card out we have is the Three of Swords. Okay, so hearing no more. No more destruction, no more upset, no more confusion. You guys need to let go of somebody who no longer serves you or you guys might currently be letting go of somebody who's no longer serving you, depending obviously where you are on this journey. Let's just clarify that Three of Swords. Yeah, exactly. Wow, the Death card. You guys are really letting go of something that no longer serves you. Really just, I'm just hearing it's not important anymore. It's not important anymore. And we had the Four of Swords. So standing in your power, standing in your ground, being really strong with your opinions and also just not backing down. So with this King of Wands, this is absolutely beautiful. So this is showing me that you're going to manifest somebody in your life romantically, friendship wise, or even family member who really helps you to shift your, your life externally and internally. You know, everything is connected. So I feel like you guys are really going to be benefiting from this. So I feel like for you guys, especially with the sun, it's showing me it's going to be such a positive movement. It's going to be so positive for you guys. And the four of pentacles is showing me that you guys might not want to share your business venture with this person. You might not trust them. Also, I'm getting so many messages. Okay, I'm getting like three different messages. So first message, this person comes in, you are single. You're not sure if you want to kind of go with this situation because you're like, well, I don't really know if this is going to help my business because I've been working on my business for such a long time. And I have emphasis on you being single, guys, because I feel like you've really been working on just your work, not really your love life. Obviously, 
uh, internally you have, but you haven't really been dating or anything like that. So your work is a very sensitive subject. It's very important to you. And it becomes a love relationship because you after all the thinking about this person, you accept it and then it actually turns into a love relationship. But others of you in a workplace, I feel like this person might come into your life, into the workplace, and you really get feelings for this person, but you try to block them off. Others of you who are not single, I'm seeing this person is just gonna really help you with some sort of project or venture that you've wanted to get off the ground. Could even be like a publisher, a book publisher, it could be an artist, a musician, DJ, director, photographer, it, it, all those things. It's kind of like, I found you. That's what I'm hearing. I found you. This feels really good. So for those of you who are single, especially, you are starting to come into your power and you're really learning to tell people what it is that you want. Okay. So with the three of swords, the death card, it's showing me that you guys have let go of what no longer serves you in terms of relationships. So this person coming in is a sign that you've, you have definitely let go and the universe is acknowledging that you have let go of your person. And you are manifesting something that really, really suits you. And this is someone brand new. This is someone absolutely brand new and they are amazing. I just kind of want to see what sort of star sign. I mean, we have the fire and we had earth. Did we have earth? I'm pretty sure. I think we've only had fire in this group, but we have Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm feeling more Aries for this group. Let's pull, can you get a zodiac sign or any information about this person who's coming in romantically or not? Just to give you guys an idea of who this is. Okay, so we have someone who is very, very intellectual. We have the third house. Somebody who is really good with speech. And because you're good with speech as well with this air sign energy, you guys are really empowered. And I feel like you're really learning to just step back from situations when they're not right for you and go for situations when they are right for you. Okay, Saturn. Yeah, this this person is a brand new, is part of a brand new cycle. Saturn is about learning, it's about rules and things like that. Yeah, there we go, Sagittarius. So it's definitely going to be some sort of fire sign around you. Someone who's actually, I'm hearing <clears throat> someone who actually gives a damn. Because I feel like for a lot of you, you've had a lot of toxic relationships. And you've had a lot of situations where, that really have not served you. And have really been really uncomfortable for you guys. And have really caused you to feel like you can't manifest anyone in love or manifest anyone in a relationship. This is beautiful. I love this. So we also have Luna, the moon. So you guys, this person is going to be very emotionally connected to your work, who you are in general, just really connected to who you are. So I feel like this person is just going to, this person is going to acknowledge you and, and everything that you want out of life. So if this is a project, I feel like they're going to really kind of put you first, put, put you and your life first. And Put, and put you in just your your project first, your your work. If even if this is especially for you guys who have your own business, because I feel like when you do have your own business, especially, it's kind of like your baby. You know, like you, this is something you've cultivated all by yourself, and you don't want someone to come in and almost ruin it. So for you guys, okay, I'm 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 feeling a very strong love energy right now. So I do apologize for those of you who are not single, this is just for those of you who are single and wanting a partner, or if you're in a relationship but you're kind of not too sure about the person. Okay, King of Wands. This person will suddenly come in and will kind of jumpstart something. You will be very happy about this person, but you're also beginning to be very wary of them. So I feel like this situation is very, very sexy. It feels very sexy because the person's energy is the most perfect match for you, and you've been waiting for this person for many years. Some of you guys, like seven years. I feel. Okay, so is that all the cards for today? Let's get you some astrology dice. I thought like I need to get some astrology dice for green number two, so let's do that. All right, so we have the ninth house. We have Sagittarius, which literally rules the ninth house. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it does rule the ninth house. And then we have the Mars. So, so much movement. Oh my God, so much forward movement, so much movement within externally, so much movement externally, and so much travel and expansion so you guys are going to reach more people in the next seven to ten days you're going to start to reach more people and you're going to start to find people who are more on your wavelength and even if it's not people one person who's going to really be on your wavelength but it doesn't have to be a partner it could be somebody who is just a friend who really changes your life okay so <clears throat> that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and that is it for today. Also, if you like any of the crystals I had here today and you'd like them in a custom piece, all my information is down below for my jewellery shop. So thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll speak to you soon.
Hello group number three, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So the first two cards out we have are Hiddenite and we also have Serpentine, beautiful. Okay, so let's see what these guys are about. So with Hiddenite it says, who needs it? French existentialists, future trippers, bad romantics. When you find yourself stuck in the past or too focused on the future, Hiddenite is down to make the most of every moment. When you're in a rut, call on Hiddenite to help you love your way out of it. Claim your happy place. I love that, that's so cute. I also love the combination of the colors. This is very much to do with the throat chakra. This is very much to do with the solar plexus. I love that. So, people who need it. Kundalini yogis, anyone in need of a fresh start. When to use it. When it's time to let go of tired beliefs and get stuck energy unstuck. If serpentine arrives in your life, it's an invitation to rip off all proverbial band-aids and regroup. Hit the sauna, sweat it out and release all lingering drama. Awaken your reptilian nature. Okay, so very similar kind of messages it's kind of showing me that you guys are feeling very stuck you are wanting to you're kind of focus on the past or too focused on the future you're like okay everything's gone everything has kind of gone wrong recently how can I have any sort of acceptance of the future how can I really think that the future is going to be any better it's very much about you just accepting who you are right now and knowing that you are being taken care of okay you definitely are and this is also showing me that you guys are going to get a fresh start. So if you guys need a fresh start, these crystals here are really good for that. And the fact that we have Hiddenite, I really like the word Hiddenite as well. I feel like some of you guys is something hidden. It feels like you might not see things externally happening, but internally things are really changing. So by the time probably, well, by seven to ten days after this reading, you might actually realise why you felt stuck or you might have a release of that emotion. You'll feel a lot better, okay? And this will help you to shift that emotion too. It feels feels really, really beautiful. And I feel like both these crystals are kind of similar. They both have a very light vibration, I'm feeling. And they have this kind of like clearing energy, but very almost, almost they're kind of, yeah, like squeaky clean. I'm hearing squeaky clean energy. They're kind of releasing all of that big, almost Capricorn energy, and they're kind of transmuting it into Aquarius. So we're kind of going, it's kind of like going from the Capricorn age to the Aquarian age. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Very, very beautiful. I love that. So let's get you some more cards. So next card out we have, change direction with ease. It's time for a change, shape, shape shifting of your soul's evolution. It's time to reconsider what you're wanting. You may be in for a surprise. Wow, I love that. This is so cute. I love these cards. They have such good messages. So, okay. So for you guys, you might be scared of changing your direction. You might be scared of actually shifting something. And we're going to get a little bit more detail in just a second. So the fact that it says it's time for a change. I love the fact that it's, it says about your soul's evolution. It's not even like externally or internally. It's literally just like your soul's evolution, like your soul in general. And like I said, you may not even see this, what's happening externally. You might see internally. And it says, time to reconsider what you're wanting. So you may be actually thinking, oh, I want this type of relationship, I want this type of person, or, or I want this person that I'm seeing right now. But it may be this person isn't the best person for you. You might be observing things and I'm hearing there is some sort of obstacle in your way for a reason. Okay, so first of all, if you're not sure what this is and you're not sure how to actually go about it, just really sit with it because I feel like you're going to know intuitively what the next step is and it feels like it's kind of like re pausing and restarting that's kind of what I'm hearing I'm hearing an oil, oil uh, an oil change you're going to have an oil change so you're going to change the way you see your life and there's going to be a clearing out and detoxifying of the old which is really beautiful okay so next card out we have are the hyena, wow, and the black egg. That is so intense. Okay, so really big energy. I'm feeling this very much around my heart chakra. So you guys could be getting a little bit of acid reflux or chest pain, things like that. That's definitely like ascension symptoms, okay? So just be really kind to yourself and know that it might not be some sort of major health problem. Obviously, I'm not a health practitioner, so take it as it resonates. But especially with the black egg, it's showing me that you guys are really becoming internal right now. I'm going to have a look and see in the book and we're going to see what this guy represents because I feel like for the black egg it's got a really important meaning. So let's see, black egg. 
So this is about, wow, it's about your voice. I love that. So this is the fifth chakra, the, th the throat chakra. And it's funny because we had this th uh, sh crystal here, which is also about the throat chakra. So you guys are really learning to speak your truth. And the hyena is also showing me that you guys are learning that it's okay to feel things. It's okay to be vulnerable because the hyena is showing you that sometimes you might laugh things out to make things less uncomfortable. So you just need to make sure that you're not laughing out to avoid the emotion. And sometimes obviously we can laugh at things if they're uncomfortable. You know, it's not something, it's not like a crime or anything, but it's really important to understand that if there is something that's lingering under there that you need to actually acknowledge, sometimes it's just sitting with yourself for like a quiet few minutes and just saying, look, I'm here for you. What do I need to know? And then just kind of see what comes to you. Selenite's really good if you want to do some channeling work as well. So it says, what do I know to be true about myself and what is true about the world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet accessed, we speak from an unsured place. Speaking from an authentic voice, the truth. So this is all about expression as well. The balance of this center is important for all of us, but it is especially essential for writers, editors, musicians, and teachers. So I love that because we have this energy of something shifting and changing direction. You guys, I mean, the number five is all about change as well. You guys are really shifting your energy. You're really, really shifting your energy. And it might be very uncomfortable right now, but knowing that once this, once this egg cracks, you're going to be like a brand new person. Right now you're in the changing energy, okay? So it might be a bit uncomfortable where you're going and you're like, I have no idea where I'm going. But just recognise that you're in, this, you're in this energy of change and you're shifting. So just be very aware that it's okay to feel unsure, okay? Because we're gonna, you're going to end up with this massive new you that is so damn confident. Like, wow, absolutely beautiful. So next card out we have, yeah, we have creativity. That is literally the fifth house. So number five is so important for you guys. So getting creative, meditating, just experiencing more of what you want to be, who you, who you want to be, what you want to do. Is there anything that you're possibly putting off because you think, oh, that's not going to earn me money or that's not going to actually make me happy, but you don't know until you try it, okay? And it could be along with a job as well. So you don't actually have to do this thing as a job. It could be something on the side and that, and that eases the pressure off. When money isn't involved, that eases the pressure off as well. I feel like for some of you guys, you might be opticians or dentists. I'm seeing you guys looking into like somebody's eye. I don't know why that just kind of came to me really strongly. You might be going to the opticians in the next seven to 10 days as well. So we also have the lunar eclipse, which it says occurs with full moons and are more powerful versions of the full moon. Deep transformation and sudden change. Exactly. Yes, because it says you may be in for a surprise. You guys, you guys are going to get change. OK, you are going to get change. And, the, and I love how we have the lunar eclipse because the lunar is obviously the moon. It's emotions. So you guys are going to get emotional clarity and you are going to feel much more happy with where you're at, okay? So much more comfortable, okay? So much more. And I want to pull you just one more um, astrology card. And we do have the sun there. So it's like the sun is coming out for you guys. Okay. Next card out we have is the first quarter, which represents taking action. I love that. Taking action, making moves, and pushing through any obstacles that are revealed. 100%. That is definitely what you're doing. Oh my God. This is so synchronistic. I love this group. This is amazing. I love how I kind of put that hit in between the, these two cards. So it kind of shows me that both sides of you are coming together. So the insecure and the secure. Boom. And you're making a cute little new you, baby. <laughs> new you is coming out. She's coming out. I'm hearing the song. I'm coming out. So you better get is the one from, is it pink? I'm not going to sing it because I might get demonetized. Um, is it pink? I think it might be pink. It's like a early 2000s song. Very, very beautiful. I love that. Okay, so let's get you some tarot and let's see what's coming towards you with your tarot cards. Okay. <laughs> Whenever I do talk about throat chakra, I always end up singing, which is so funny. All right, yes, queens, coming into your freaking power. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to freaking see, girls. That's what I like to see. We have the moon. So yeah, as I said, the moon is a really interesting energy for you guys. It's like a, I'm hearing a confidant. So basically the moon is supporting you right now with your emotions. It might be triggering some emotions, but just know that it's meant to do that. It's, it's, it's doing that for a reason, okay? Uh, Ten of Cups is there to show you that you are manifesting what it is you want. You're getting emotional. 
clarity and I'm like, oh, oh, hi, there is a partnership going on. <laughs> partnership alert. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then we have, wow. <laughs> Oh my God, some of you guys are gonna get into a partnership. So this transformation is preparing you for a partnership as well. Let's move these cards up here. Yeah, definitely preparing you for a partnership. You are getting ready for somebody who is definitely on your wavelength. So you may feel like, okay, things are very slow. Nothing's really moving. But if you guys are single, prepare for somebody to come in because this is so damn attractive. Wow. And if you are currently in a relationship with a fire sign, just know that you're on the right track and this is somebody who really wants to honor your emotions. And also I see you guys having an emotional chat with your partner and really resolving something. And, and your partner, I feel like it's gonna be really understanding of you. So you also have the King of Pentacles, which is showing me this person might show up within work, whoever this person is romantically or not. This person's gonna give you a major amount of stability. They're gonna make you feel really comfortable and you're going to be able to really assert yourself with this person. You, both of you are like a power couple. So is this so cute how the Queen of Wands is at the start and the King of Wands is in the middle? So it's basically showing me that you are becoming the Queen of Wands. Therefore, through the process of acknowledging who you are and forgiving the past and really embracing those emotions, you're attracting this King of Wands because you are that energy. And therefore... Both of you are a pairing and you're becoming the exact same person, which is so cute. I love this so much. I'm gonna pull you guys a romance card because that is just adorable. Okay. Yes. That is literally the wands energy. That is so amazing. That is literally the wands. The wands are passion okay guys the ones are passion we love we love we love all right so that is your reading guys oh we also have the card very soon underneath hi that is great i love that clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now beautiful so thank you so much for being here guys i really hope you enjoyed this reading and if you did don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to also, if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below and my crystal shop is down below also. If you'd like to get any of the crystals mentioned here today or any crystals you prefer, then I do custom jewellery. So that's going to be all in the information box down below. Much love to you guys. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.